Shane, welcome to Leinster Rugby. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, please, and your background. Yeah, thanks, Marcus. So, uh, yeah, I'm Shane. I'm a, well, first and foremost, I'm a Leinster man. So, I'm from Navan County Mead. Went to school there, and also in Dublin, where I was introduced to the the game of rugby. And I've been a, a lifelong fan, player, uh, supporter ever since. So, um, went to college in Galway. Uh, continued playing rugby there, then started my working career in London for 11 years uh, before coming back to Ireland and I've spent the last 11 years working for Google doing various roles across Europe, Middle East and Africa which was super fun and now here I am in my dream job, uh, CEO of Leinster Rugby. Unfortunately you never pulled on a Leinster jersey but you did put on a Connacht jersey once upon a time. Oh you heard about that? <laughs> yeah we definitely did, okay. yeah, Connacht 20s I believe. Your, very, your research is very good. Yeah, I played a couple of games for uh, Connacht under 20s. I was playing for UCG, or NUIG as it's called now, so I captained that team. We played all Ireland League for a couple of years and then uh, managed to get some games for the Connacht under 20s. But um, unfortunately, that's as far as my representative honours went. A move from, you mentioned Google there and you mentioned yeah. time in London, but a move from the corporate world, as it were, to Leinster Rugby. Why Leinster Rugby? Why this role? Why now? Oh, look, it's a dream job for me, right? I think uh, there are not many CEO roles for professional sports organisations. As soon as I heard that this was become uh, open, um, I knew I had to go for it. So for me, it's the perfect opportunity to marry my commercial experience and my corporate experience with my passion, which is rugby. So absolutely dream job territory for me. Technically, uh, last weekend against Chile in Energy Park was the first home game, but uh, the BKT URC returns to the RDS this weekend. Um, and you're nearly a month into the role now, Shane. So I suppose... Overall, what have you noticed? What have you taken in from the club, from the organisation, and, and what have you seen? Yeah, look, it's been, it's been a great couple of weeks uh, to start off. Like any new job, you're, you're kind of learning every day something new. So I've been nothing but impressed with everything I've seen. So from the, um, the connection with the local community, like we saw the, the team going doing the summer tour across uh, Leinster at the start of the summer, and last a couple of weeks ago down in Tullow as well. So it's been really impressive to see that connection. Then I've got to, you know, we have a great leadership team in here. I've got to know these guys at a, at a personal level and just get to understand each of the teams and meet all the teams. Um, there's amazing work being done on the domestic side of the game in terms of just putting a rugby ball in the hands of more and more boys and girls who are youths in our minis programs. Uh, the support for all of our clubs and our schools has been really impressive. So that's been impressive. Then right through to, you know, looking at Tanya and, uh, and Leo and the senior teams and the level of kind of, professionalism and um, processes that go into putting great teams on the pitch. So it's been nothing but impressive and uh, I know I've loads more to kind of learn. Looking forward to continuing to getting stuck into the meeting every part of the, the Leinster Rugby operation. Might be unfair to put you on the spot with this, but what are you hoping to achieve, Shane? Like, I don't know whether that's short term, medium, long term, but what would you like to achieve? Look, at first we have to say, like, it's an amazingly successful organisation, Leinster Rugby. It's a really, really impressive organisation. So very much uh, first and foremost, I don't want to break it, <laughs> so that's my objective number one, but very much I think, you know, uh, looking at where the opportunities are there to kick on to the next level in terms of, uh, and not revolutions, definitely evolution. So I think obviously we want to be successful on the pitch. Uh, when you can do that, we want to be continue to grow the game in terms of domestically with our schools and with our clubs. Uh, and also then supporting all of that is the commercial and the kind of uh, the financial side of things and making sure we're really are supercharging the organisation to kick on to the next level. From a commercial point of view, um, Mick Dawson has been on record as, as saying that, you know, during COVID revenue was decimated down 50 percent or thereabouts. We've come out of COVID and, and thankfully things are starting to improve. Hopefully we'll have a first full season out of COVID with supporters in our stadium and, and less and less uh, restrictions at all our games home and away. Um, but there is that focus from a commercial point of view that Leinster can get back to thriving and to, I suppose, building back those revenues again. 100 percent that's got to be a key focus and we need to live within our means and we need to kind of maximize those those opportunities what i would say is the early part of the season had been really really encouraging so we had games like the sharks and the rds with over seventeen thousand people there it was just an amazing experience and then forty five thousand people in the viva for the monster match so already it's great to see us bringing big crowds back to our games and our supporters including myself being able to watch our team in, in full stadia again it's kind of what we've all missed and it's great to see that back and that gives us confidence that the season ahead will be uh, really good for us in terms of the, getting the supporters back in the ground, getting the stadiums full and, and supporting our team. So, and that, of course, helps all the, the, kind of the commercial side of things. So, uh, so lots of reasons to be positive for the year ahead. Uh, you're stepping into fairly big shoes, uh, or maybe not, maybe only size eights, but still, uh, Mick Dawson, what a legacy he's left. 21 years 
Um, obviously he's going off now and he's present to Lansdowne a massive year for them and the yeah. celebrations are going on there but a huge legacy that Mick has left and I know um, from speaking to you that he's been helping you out and, and there at the other end of a phone or there for meetings and whatever else and helping you into transition into I suppose your your uh, your role as you take over as CEO of Leinster Oh 100% Look, what, can, what can we say about Mick I mean he's been absolutely phenomenal for Leinster Rugby taking it from where it was 21 years ago to where it is now I think he he deserves every success and, and every accolade he gets for that um, he's been brilliant in terms of helping me ramp into this role and uh, we've had several chats lots of calls every day only talking to him yesterday uh, he lives pretty close to the offices as well so we know where he lives and I might just keep his phone number on my speed dial for a few weeks to come but uh, Mick's been brilliant and uh, yeah I've got big shoes to fill for sure very wise to keep his uh, phone number handy. Um, one of his final projects, uh, Shane, was securing a new lease um, with the RDS. Himself and Geraldine had that announcement uh, there about a month ago now. Um, 25 years to look forward to. It's been a brilliant um, home for Leinster Rugby since we've been in there. Um, but obviously, Leinster supporters out there, they just want to know what's next. Uh, can you share any news with us or is there any updates you can give? Well, no major updates from what was announced a few weeks ago. It is great that we've now got our home secured for the next 25 years, and that's wonderful. Uh, I think as intimated at the time, you know, we're, we're working really hard behind the scene on the whole development of the stadium, and we're really looking forward to announcing something really positive probably in the early part of 2023. So, so watch this space. We're working super hard behind the scenes on that one. Uh, he also left you with a couple of vacancies to fill, and I suppose on everyone's lips, uh, Stuart Lancaster has obviously announced his departure going to Racing, um, and other coaches within the senior coaching setup also uh, with contracts up at the end of the season, none more so than Leo Cullen. So I'd imagine as one of the key projects for you is to, is to kind of get clarity around that coaching appointment. Sure, 100%. Like that. That's a key priority of mine. And look, Stuart has been a great servant for Leinster Rugby for the last six years. It'll be seven years by the time he, he heads off. And we wish him all the best in Racing. But uh, we've got some time to, to figure ourselves out. So I'm working super closely with Leo and kind of figuring out the right coaching structure going forward. So we're having all the right conversations. So I'm pretty confident we'll be, we'll be in good shape there. Finally, Shane, um, you've mentioned already you're a season ticket holder and yourself and your family have come for, for many years to the RDS. But I'd imagine this weekend it's slightly different going to the RDS uh, Saturday against Glasgow Warriors um, and your first game as CEO of Leinster Rugby. A proud moment for yourself personally, but for your family, for your friends, even for the people back in Navan. <laughs> Even if you're back in Avon. Look, I can't, I can't wait, right? It's going, to be, it's going to be a bit different. I have to put a, a suit and a jacket on to a rugby match for the first time in a very long time, probably ever. Uh, but it's super excited. As I said, I kind of, um, it's great, again, back to seeing full stadium and, and hopefully a good competitive match against Glasgow. I think we've done a lot to kind of make the RDS experience even, even really good this year with the new fan zone. So I'm really good, excited to get in there before and after the match. But uh, yeah, thrilled and excited to be there. And hopefully we were there cheering on a winning team come Saturday. And presumably there'll be no... Uh there will be no divided loyalties when Leinster and Connacht uh, clash uh, in the RDS in a couple of weeks' time. Absolutely not. Shane Nolan, thanks a million for your time. Go well in your new role. Thank you.